Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about Venn diagrams. So in our previous video we already discussed about Venn diagrams. So first in this presentation we are going to revise the concept of Venn diagrams and then we are going to learn how to represent Venn diagrams under union of sets and also under intersection of sets. So first let us discuss about Venn diagrams. So here the Venn diagrams was introduced in 1880 by John Venn. So according to him a diagram that uses the circles to represent sets in which the relations between the circles are represented by the arrangement of circles. So now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have the example in which the elements of x are 5, 6, 7, 8 and we have the elements of y as a, b, c, d. Now let us represent this in the form of a Venn diagram. So here we have written the elements of x in one Venn diagram and we have written the elements of y in the other Venn diagram. And now let us map the first element of x with the first element of y similarly we can also map the other elements of x with y so here we can map 6 with b and 7 with c and 8 with d and now let us write the order pairs so here as 5 is mapped with a we get the order pair as 5 comma a and 6 comma b and 7 comma c and 8 comma d and now let us learn how to represent the sets under venn diagrams so here any simple closed figures which are used to represent sets can be called as a venn diagram so here we can use a circle or a triangle or an oval to represent a set and here a rectangle can be used to represent a universal set so here a universal set can be denoted with the letter u and now let me explain this concept with the help of an example so here we have the example as b is subset to a and a is subset to u and here a subset to u represents the elements of u contains the elements of a so we can represent a circle inside a universal set and here we have b subset to a that means the elements of b belongs to the elements of a so we can draw here a circle b inside the circle a as it represents b subset to a and now let us discuss about union of sets so here the union of two sets a and b is a set of all the elements of a together with all the elements of b so now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here so here we have an example in which the elements of a are 1, 2, 3, 4 we have the elements of b as 1, and now let us find here a union b So here we have the elements of A as 1, 2, 3, 4 union the elements of B here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 So here when we write the union of any two sets we don't repeat the elements which are common in both the sets So we get the elements of this set here as 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 as the elements of a union b and now let us represent this in the form of a venn diagram so here we have a rectangle which represents the universal set so here we observe that the elements of a are the elements of b that is nothing but a is subset to b So here we can draw the two circles in which 
the circle which is inside represent the set A and here the outer diagram represent the set B. Now let us write here the elements of A which are 1, 2, 3, 4 and now here let us write the remaining elements of B which are 5, 6, 7, 8 and now let us discuss about intersection of sets. So here the intersection of two sets A and B is the set of elements which are common to A and B. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have the elements of A as 2, 3, 4 and we have 3, 4, 5 as the elements of B. And here we represent this symbol to write the intersection of sets. Now let us find the intersection of A and B. So here we have the elements of set A are 2, 3, 4 intersection and the elements of B are 3, 4, 5. Now let us mark the common elements in both the sets. So here we have the common elements as 3 and 4. So we get here 3, 4 as the elements of the set a intersection B. Now let us represent this in the form of a Venn diagram. So here we have a rectangle which represents the universal set. And now let us draw the two circles which represents the set A and set B. So here this circle represents the set A and this circle represents the set B. And here we have the common portion which represents the intersection of two sets. And here we have the elements of A intersection B as 3 and 4. Now let us write here the remaining elements of A. So here we have 2 as the remaining element. And in the set B we have 5 as the remaining element. Let us write over here. So this was a basic introduction on Venn diagrams. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchakadabi.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.